On today's episode of Sloan's Wilderness Expeditions, we travel to northern Indiana to Potato Creek State Park for a hiking and birding excursion featuring seagulls, trumpeter swans, sandhill cranes, blue herons, eagles, and lots of geese. So sit back and enjoy, and be sure to like and subscribe for future adventures. Hey folks, Sloan's Wilderness Expeditions here again. Today we are at Potato Creek State Park in northern Indiana. This is a new one for us. We've never hiked here before. We are hiking trails one, two, and four. Yep, and we're going to be seeing what kind of birds and such we may see around the lake. We've already seen sandhill cranes. Potato Creek State Park is located just south of South Bend, Indiana featuring over 3,800 acres of forest, wetlands, and the reservoir, Lake Worcester. Prior to settlement in the early 1800s, this was Potawatomi territory. The Potawatomi collected a tuber plant that grew in the wetlands the settlers called wild potato, and that's how the creek got its name. We've already gotten some pretty good bird action out here, haven't we, Catfish? Yep. I think we woke up the geese. That is a lot of river rats. So here we have a spring house. This is a spring that came up from below the cliff line. And they used the spring house with the constantly cold water from the spring to keep products cool during the days before refrigeration. There's a few big trees out here, isn't there, catfish? Yep, sure is. Okay, this is a beautiful forest come springtime. i tell you what, it is, the air is just so crisp and fresh out here today, isn't it? Yep. And it's just, you can really breathe it in and not smell any kind of pollutants. Temps probably in the low 40s right now. We really got it crisp, fresh, nice atmosphere. Mm -hmm. We're now on Trail 2, which skirts the Swamp Rose Preserve of wetlands. It'll be a little ways off to our right. Trail 2 is also the only trail here at Potato Creek listed as rugged, so that's a little more my style of hiking. So we're a little bit of off trail right at the moment. I'm trying to get down here to see some of these wetlands, because we can see some kind of crane walking on the ice. I don't know if it'd be a sandhill crane or a heron or what. I'm afraid it will probably fly as we get closer. Well, we finally got to see some uh, sandhill cranes out there, didn't we, Catfish? Yep. This 
so far the only thing rugged about trail two is a couple of short uphills the trail is very nice and very well done and maintained so you can't tell it from our vantage point here at the moment but we are on vargo hill which is uh, 885 feet elevation which for northern indiana that's pretty high yep Look at this tree, catfish. That is a climbing tree if I've ever seen one. Gnarly. <laughs> oh yeah, you could climb pretty high on that. It's got all the limbs and such, just the right spots. Well, we are on trail one, heading towards the west side of the park. Got another nice viewpoint, and we're back to the lake. It's fascinating watching the birds fight over the fish, but I never figured out who caught the fish in the first place. It almost looks like the fish were either cold stunned or even frozen in the ice and the birds had pecked them out. Hey, well, that's been some pretty good uh, birding here going on at Potato Creek, isn't it, Catfish? Yep, we've seen some seagulls and a heron fighting over some fish. Mm -hmm. All right, back to civilization. We've arrived at the Nature Center midway point for our hike. And we're going to check out the Nature Center, take us a little break, get us some lunch, before we head back out. We got us a turtle, do we? A blanding turtle? Catfish, are you connecting with the turtle? He says, let me flee. <laughs> the nature center has some turtles, frogs, bird viewing area, and of course an interpretive area featuring their efforts in restoring the wetlands and the amazing history from the times of the Potawatomi to the early settlements which featured not just white settlers, but freed former slaves as well. Nice little rest there at the, uh, the nature center. Filled up our bellies for some lunch, didn't we? Yep. And now we're ready to head back out onto the trail. Potato Creek became a state park in the 1970s. Prior to that, this was mostly farmland. You can see that a lot of this is new growth forest. Even the uh, wetlands had originally been drained and draining tiles and such were put in to uh, make it more farmable. And of course, over the past 30 years, the state park has done a really good job of 
returning the wetlands to their natural state. I always find it interesting when things that man has touched or built or constructed and are allowed to go back to nature mm -hmm. and how quickly you can see nature takes it back. Nature wastes no time in reclaiming any space. That is a busy woodpecker there. This is the kind of forest that I really enjoy. Got rolling hills, little streams, and uh, the understory is pretty thin, so you can really get a good view and lay of the land. There are so many little frozen ponds and wetlands throughout this forest. You can keep track of them all. They're pretty much everywhere here, aren't they? Yep. And you have these huge trees, like this one behind Catfish here. That's probably one of the biggest we've seen out here. Well, we have made it back. The parking area is full. Well, that does it for our hike here today at Potato Creek State Park on trails 1, 2, and 4. Catfish, what did you think about today's hike and birding experience? It was pretty cool. I loved like watching from like the lake, the birds like fighting over the fish and such. Yeah. That, in my opinion, was my favorite palps. That was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. It was kind of unexpected. We had a bunch of different places in mind to come hiking today, and when we seen that this is a good area for uh, winter birding, we thought that would be perfect, and it was, wasn't it? Yep. Yep. Now the area that we hiked was really just one corner of this park. Potato Creek is really big. There's lots of wetlands, lots of ponds, and obviously the lake. And uh, I don't know, I think it would be a beautiful place to come back to in the spring. It's our first time here and we definitely enjoyed it. Good hike, great trails, and uh, love the lake with all of the birds. All right? Yep. All right, Till next time. Peace, Peace out. out.